We are Heather and Yain, and we are converting this beautiful beast into a home on wheels. Last week we started our bathroom and this week we finished it. So watch this video to find out how we made this beautiful lino shower. If you've been finding our build useful so far, we would love it if you would subscribe below. Hello everybody, welcome back to part two of our lino bathroom build. That sounds quite fun to say. And we're not messing around at all today. We are onto a really cool little project today. Where is it here? Bing! We're putting this little porthole into our bathroom wall. That is going to go just here, if you can see, right in there. We're about to make the hole and then we're going to lino straight away so that it can get tucked in behind this. Yep, we're getting straight into it, getting busy. Hit it, boss lady. Hit a bird. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Look how smooth those are. Master is at work. These are the results you get. Getting very ready for Van Dog Life, aren't you, Coop? Cooper? Hey, nobody. Are you excited for some adventures in this van? Is that your spot on the sofa? Are you just bugsing it early? Yeah, I think so. Good boy. Right. Back to work. This is our little uh, porthole. <laughs> we're gonna put the lino on, and then we're gonna pierce it, pull it, pull it through, then put the porthole in, and then do it all. So next step is lino. Dun dun dun! dun. There it is. Cool, like marble effect geometric print, and it's quite light colour as well, so it will be good for the bathroom. The shower complete. <laughs> Comfy in there, Yad? Yeah. <laughs> ah. I can't find you. <laughs> Yay! This is silly. <laughs> Come up with a new method of getting it in. We've rolled it up. <laughs> and now we're going to roll it round. Yes. Yeah, it's a lot more comfortable. Shall we do this thing? Yeah. We're getting sticky with it. We're getting on our um, lay bond vinyl bostic. If you're in a normal van, you might be okay, but we have gone through full tub um, and it's not finished yet so I've got all this side done most of this side and then you can see the top still not done the top still not done I've got it in my hair which is going to be a bitch to get out and I've sent the iron off to screw fix to get more I don't know how quickly this stuff goes off but I might have to try and stick it to the first panel myself which I didn't want to have to do because it's super awkward yeah, we might be doing it. Arr. So I'm sorry without you, but I'm basically having to do this without yine as well. Uh, and it's super chaotic. Um, and I just figured I better turn the camera on and film some of this before I get completely, uh, well, either completely mess up the whole thing or completely done with the whole thing. Let's try and push it into this corner now, which is proving difficult. I'm gonna have to get my own seat in. I also don't want to get this glue all over everything in the van because it is so sticky. I definitely need to get in here a bit more. Okay. <laughs> Feet are literally sticking to the ground. Literally walking slowly. Come on, back face! <laughs> now he's running. <laughs> That looks super cool. Yeah, can't get it into the corner any more than that is the only problem. Looks sticky, Wiki. Super sticky. Oh man, it's super in your hair. Yeah, I know. Oh man. I know. Can't do anything about it now, so <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> it's all over me. It's all over me. <laughs> okay, we're in. Okay, I need you in here. Okay, come in. Feel like I'm in a scene of Grey's Anatomy. 
Like an operation room? Pull this up. Yeah, it's not. It's so sticky. Yeah. Got the top. Okay, before that knife I had, I just like push it as much as show how it is, yeah? Okay. Uh, Alright, so we have this. Ignore the stains, they're just some mud, but that'll wipe off. All vinyled up. That's going to be our window, we just need to cut that through. All the way around. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Looks pretty good. What do you think, darling? I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's good. That's sticking far better than I thought it was. Well, not better than I thought it would, I just thought it would peel off because it's yeah. so heavy, but it's not. The glue's very good. We're just cutting out our window now. Um, and then we need to come out with a kind of patchwork. Oh, <laughs> well, you haven't. <laughs> try not to, try to like... Yeah, I know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> like... Yes, yeah, one nice smooth circle. Yeah. Clearly didn't happen. My vision for how this would go and how it's actually going. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I just thought it would. I'd be able to put the window in. It would just pull the lino through, and it would be a really nice, <laughs> um, flawless look. I was thinking maybe it would be more like carpet. I don't know, but um, that has not worked. So we're doing something different. We'll make it work. It'll be okay. <laughs> Just here's the knife. Do you want to cut off that bottom bit? Just trying to get a bit of a mark. Guess what I can smell? Dog poop. Oh, no, you no way I can smell it. In dog poop. It's on my shoes. <laughs> um, so I'll show you what we've come up with the four little portal window. Move your butt. Head rush. Okay, so I've cut loads of little bits of lino and I'm going to seek a flex them all together. So they've just got some of the same um, lino glue that the rest of it's got on. It's not a perfect solution, uh, but I think it should work fine. I'm um, really happy with the little portal window. The only thing that I would like to have had is for us not to have had to in, um, inset it because we needed to have this outside go all the way to the edge of the van. If this section here had been longer, this section, um, we wouldn't have had to do any of this. We still need to do the roof, but not oh. tonight. That needs to work uh, magic on the floor. Oh, show them me and my hair. Ha, ah, yes. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I don't know how much you can see that. Stay there. Don't move. Oh, that is dried up glue. I don't know how much glue, you can see that, but I am pretty sure that I'm going to be crying in the shower in about 20 minutes. Oh, slash, in the next video, I might have a bulbar shaved head. So. <laughs> Short do, darling. <laughs> Shall we Not go to sleep? To oh, wait, should we go have dinner? <laughs> <laughs> and then go to, for, for all you guys, we're going to sleep. <laughs> Shall we go have dinner? Uh, yeah. Say bye. Sweet. Okay, so our lino has been drying overnight and I've done the roof this morning. I'll give you a little peek at that. There it is. Um, and I think I'm not going to mess about with resin. I'm just going to line with the floor too. And then I need to build a little trap door for la toilette. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. What I've also done is I'll show you in a second. But I've bought some little like plastic u-shaped things to go over these edges to protect them from the water one for here one for here one for the other side of the door and then for all around the toilet um yeah so uh that's what i'm up to right now this has been quite awkward to film while i've actually been in there fully glued up linoing so i've just been doing a bit showing you doing a bit so now we're at the next stage i have 
done the floor. What I've actually done as well, because myself and Yain, let me get in here and show you. Thought this might be a problem. Our van slopes in the direction of the toilet because the loot in the, the bum is higher than the head of the car, if you can imagine that. So we're going to put our shower drain here, sloping away from the wall um, and into this corner. The one thing we might thought we might have problems with is water leaking in here underneath the toilet. So what I've done is I've actually linoed the full way underneath and now it still comes out oh, to there and it goes back in. Um, but hopefully the tight seal should discourage water from leaking on there. Need to cover up this section somehow and obviously there as well but this corner is deeper so I'm not so worried about that. But yeah, I was going to do one more trim along here and then I'm going to sick flex everything together. I had a shower last night. I know, go me. I put conditioner in there for like 10 minutes and the glue came out pretty easy. So it was not me crying in the shower. It was actually not as well as I thought. Okay guys, I am now onto waterproof from the door. I got these. Can you see the shape of that very well? It's sort of like a lazy U. So one side of the U is shorter than the other. And I'm going to essentially, with my door, put some Sika Flex in here and then slide it on to my door. Okie dokie. So that is the silicon on the door. It's a slightly different shade of white. It's a bit dirty because I'm doing it on the ground. But, um, yeah, the main effect is that it um, obviously seals around the wood. This could be the door, so I haven't quite figured out what's going on this side yet, but there'll be some sort of design or wallpaper or pattern or something. But anyway, that waterproofs in the sides. After I got done with that, I put the white casing top to bottom on here which is way harder than it looks. It was so much easier to do the door outside. And then both sides of the poop chute. Um, I've done the white case here, the white case there, and I haven't had to do it here because basically I've bent the lino back on itself so that it waterproofs this edge itself. And this is just holding it on for the moment. Um, and I've also been gluing flexing around our little porthole. Not actually the tidiest job in the world, but waterproof is more important. Next job is to put the light in. We also need to develop a trap door system here so that obviously when the shower is in shower mode, this toilet can be covered up. I haven't really got any brain ways as to how we're gonna do that yet. So if you've got any ideas, I'd love to hear them because I don't think I'm gonna get that done before this upload. Um, Cause I wanna do it right. Um, yeah. Going good though. I did a very exciting thing this morning. I booked a ferry off this island to start our adventure. It's 31st of May and we are on the road. We are starting by going to Ireland which is where I'm from, if you can't tell, to get our vet, uh, to get our dogs registered at the vet at my home place. We are spending a week there, and then we are going to get another ferry from Ireland to France. So it's all become real and exciting. But now we've got a ticking clock, so the shower has got to get finished, so I can move on to the next thing and the next thing, and then we'll be done update on the floor. I did it yesterday and I came back today and I didn't understand why I did certain things so I did them so I ripped it up and I started again. So this is the floor now. Before I had battens of wood and I was trying to line them over them because I wanted to have like a, like a skirting board essentially but then I realized this makes more sense. So um, I took it up and I've redone it and it's actually seaming together quite well. Um, so the floor, walls and ceiling are all the same. I put the light in as you can see 
and I have Sika Flex around the window some more. I'm not very happy with how this has turned out and it needs obviously a tidy up because there's lots of bits on it but as far as functionality and waterproofing goes it should be good and that's the most important. Um, so yeah now I've just drilled the holes for the shower bits I'm about to attach those so the shower can actually become a shower. Crazy. Just attached these little um, John Guest push fit settings female to 12 mil onto this side and then here is the two bits for the shower so now I'm just going to mount on the main shower pole thing. Love my little window. <laughs> now I need to get my bathroom door back on, fix my light in, seek a left flex around the roof, and probably a million other jobs. That was a fun one to get finished. Oh, I need to put my um, shower head on. So I'm on to phase two water. Here's the test. <laughs> oh, can't do that yet. I forgot. I have to turn this back on. Oh. So I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Are you sure we should have waited for Yayan to get back? But um, yeah, this here connection, can you see the drip, um, is obviously not quite tight and um, now I've just got water in the system. So yeah, not good. I've got my bucket here, but some water has got on the floor. Um, so I've got to figure out how to get, <laughs> get this water out in a corner that's not fully waterproof yet. God, I'm smart, am I? Why would I have done that? I think I'm gonna wait for the rest of my Sika Flex to properly dry before I try that again. And that will be tomorrow. So, see you then. Just so everyone's aware, we have actually tested that this hole isn't gonna hit any major things underneath the van. So is something you should do. <laughs> Top tips with Yayan. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Check that out. Hopefully, oh no, this actually is not the last hole we will drill for the our van. We've got one more to do um, for the diesel here. That was not cold. <laughs> You're a dum dum. Why would that be? In what world would that be cold? <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, hopefully, the second last time I see air through my van. The days of being nervous about just drilling a hole through the floor. They go. <laughs> we made a drain. <laughs> and now the drain's going in the hole. We had a proper drain, but we didn't want the pot. We just wanted this. So we made a different drain. And we put some no more nails, glue. We're gonna stick this in, then we're gonna seek flex around the outside. Once it's dry, go underneath, seek flex around the bottom, to stop any water coming up into the wood. And then we'll spray like our bitumen spray all around it so it fully seals it off. So would you like to do the honours, darling, or would you want me, do you want me I'll to do it. stick it in? I'll do it. I've had plenty of practice at putting things in holes, so you, uh, you can have a go. <laughs> why, are you, why are you shaking your head? Perfectly innocent statement. <laughs> <laughs> That was easy. There we go. Give her a good squeege. You can leave the kettlebell on top of it, maybe. Also, another van build, van life hack. Um, 
You obviously need to slim your wardrobe down a little bit before you move into a van. I found a really easy method of doing this is just don't consider what you're going to go out to van build in and then just get glue on everything and then you only have like three bits of clothes left. Yeah. Ding. You have ruined almost all of your clothes. All my sporty clothes, yeah, have been destroyed. Brandy gets credit for this one. She jumped up on me and she ripped it. It's only a cheap coat anyway, so I'm not too worried. But yeah, uh, every pair of leggings that I own have got glue, Seeker Flex, or paint on them. <laughs> Good work, darling. Yeah. Okay, we have put our shower back in and we've just been conquering some leaks and um, places where we forgot to put rubber washers in basically. Um, but we've tightened everything back up and um, we're going to give it another go. We're probably going to get more leaks, so. Oh gosh. Oh, we got a shower. No leaks. <laughs> hey, we got a shower. I'm not sure I want to. Stop. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Um, Ryan, why don't we show the people what you've done? Uh, what? Um, why do we no longer have a head? Well, because uh, we said we didn't want one of those handheld ones and we just wanted the big one. So I made sure we couldn't use that one. By breaking it. Yeah, I broke it. <laughs> but we don't need it. And what about this guy? Where did this come from? What? This little um, hole in my countertop. They can't even see it. It's so small they can't even see it. How did that appear? <laughs> what? Where did that come from? <laughs> it was an accident. Mm. It wasn't it? it wasn't a drill hole, it's a screw hole, so it's actually different to what you were telling me not to do. I was screwing a screw into a piece of wood and I screwed into there. I didn't drill a hole in, which is what you told me not to do on the countertop. <laughs> Get out of my face. Okay, so I've just put the door back on. Here we are. And that's our shower toilet area nearly complete. Um, oh, that's the wind shutting my main door for me. Things I need help with. Okay, internet. Is this a good idea? My idea so far for how we're gonna cover this up when the shower is on is to have um, a piece that is that size on hinges here. Um, most of the time it's down and hooked into a little eye, eye loop here and there with the little hooks. And then when you want to use the toilet, you just unhook those, hook them into some matching ones up here and it sits up for a minute and then you pull the toilet out, do your business, put the toilet back in, hook it back down again. The hooks down here having the purpose of actually locking the toilet in place when the vehicle is moving to stop this coming sliding out. I think that's a good idea. Um, but if any of you have a better one, I would appreciate that down below. Thank you very much. Um, Yine, as you saw, broke the shower, but <laughs> we can replace that one hose. And that's pretty much shower complete. I'll give you a little run through of it, of it working. There we go. And it just all goes down our little drain, which is a bit mucky at the moment, just because myself and I have been walking in there. But that pools pretty well. A little rainfall shower. Cool! And the lino, so far, seems to work. So, um, I will put a cost analysis on the screen somewhere now so you can see exactly how much everything cost us. The shower, the lino, the porthole, uh, and Sikaflex, that's pretty much, if you were just doing the shower and not having the rolling toilet, that's all this would be. So yeah, you can have a look and see if that's what you wanna do. I will also, when we finish our van build and once we've been on the road for a little bit, I'll do a video giving you an update on how is the roller toilet doing, how's the shower doing, how's the bathroom doing, same with kind of all of our other bits and bobs around the van, um, so we can actually stress test them a bit, life test them a bit. Um, but yeah, for now, the shower seems great. <laughs> I'm hoping that's not too optimistic. <laughs> Next week, 
few exciting things that are going to be happening. We are going to be making a pantry here and putting in a little diesel heater down here. So that's what's on the cards and things are happening. It feels good. See you next week. Okay, now that's just silly. How have you made it all the way here and not subscribed yet? Scroll down, hit the button. You know you want to. <laughs>